Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Monster originally made their name selling AV cables that some people thought were great and other people thought were overpriced. Now they're selling a speaker, the Monster Superstar, and surprise, surprise, people are saying the same thing about it. Now Monster says that this is the world's smallest audiophile Bluetooth speaker, so it should sound pretty good, right? The Superstar is pretty slim and the box that holds it isn't much thicker. Open it up and the first thing you'll see is a little note from Monster. Peel that back and you'll find the speaker itself. Underneath you'll find a USB cable, the carrying bag, and the manual. Depending on which color you choose, the Superstar can look either refined and subdued or loud and flashy. No matter how flashy your color selection may or may not be, the speaker is pretty eye-catching, especially how slim it is compared to most of the other speakers we've seen this size. The Superstar is also fairly light, weighing in at just 7 ounces. Despite the lightweight, it feels fairly tough and it's splash resistant, but don't go dunking it in the water. Both the USB port and the 3.5mm jack are covered though, so it seems that there isn't much danger of liquid making it inside the speaker unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Getting connected is a snap. Turning it on for the first time should cause the Superstar to enter pairing mode, but in case it doesn't, just hold down the Bluetooth icon to start pairing and pair from the device of your choice. Of course, if you'd rather plug in, you can do that too via the 3.5mm line in jack. Bluetooth range is the usual 30 feet, and during testing we were able to move around pretty freely without running into any dropouts or encountering any stuttering. This is good because you're going to have to have your phone handy if you want to skip tracks since the only buttons are the Bluetooth and power buttons and the volume controls. Luckily, the Bluetooth button doubles as a play pause button and answers and ends calls. Speaking of calls, the call quality using the built-in mic for speakerphone was fairly good. Battery life for the Monster Superstar is around five hours, which is okay, but considering some of the other speakers we've looked at recently, it could be a lot better. Charging is done via the included USB cable, though no AC brick is included. If you have a brick already, and if you're watching this, you probably do, this is fine. But if you're charging from a computer, you better get ready to wait a few hours. In testing, I did a bit of listening with lossless audio files and a high quality audio interface, but for the most part, I listened via Bluetooth since this is how most people will use this speaker. I listened to a few podcasts and audiobooks, but mainly a ton of music. For a playlist of a few of the many songs I listened to during testing, check the video description. In any speaker this small, the low end is going to be limited by the size, but the Superstar is surprisingly present in the low end. We're not talking earth-shaking bass, but it's fairly full sounding. The mid-range is solid with a nice emphasis on low mids that makes the Superstar a good match for rock music and other guitar-heavy genres. The highs are rolled off a bit, meaning harshness doesn't seem to be much of a problem, but there is still a good amount of detail. The sound is surprisingly big and wide for such a small speaker, but that doesn't translate to the volume. We notice that as we push the volume up, the speaker could distort from time to time, especially on bass heavy tracks. To address the elephant in the room, hi there, this is not the perfection that it claims to be. For 129 bucks, there are speakers like the JBL Flip 2 that offer comparable sound and better features for the same price or less. That said, Neither of them are as flat or slim as this one is. If that's a big deal to you, or if you just like the look, then yeah, pick it up. For everybody else, there are probably better options out there. We're giving the Monster Superstar a 7.3 out of 10. And that wraps it up for this one, everybody. If you're looking for all the details, check out the full written review over at soundguys.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us in our forums. We'll have links to both down below. Now, are you looking for more rad audio stuff? Then why not subscribe? There's a button for it. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.